Want to see one of the most fastest maneuverable helicopters in the world? No? Well, too bad, because you're looking at the new Sikorsky 297 Raider. It can fly 275 miles an hour. That's more than twice as fast as the average helicopter that is twice as slow. All right, so Sikorsky is already pitching this thing towards the Special Forces guys. Looks like they put stiff counter-rotating blades with a pusher prop on the back. And how does it work? Pretty good. I mean, that's how you do it if you want maneuverable and super fast. Oh, like you would know. Let's take a look and see at some specs. You got a crew of two plus six troops in the back. Only three cup holders, so you're gonna have to share. Got a cruising speed of 250 miles an hour, max speed of 275. Now this thing can fly full speed, straight and level. It doesn't have to do that lean over like a standard helicopter and look like such a jerk. And of course it can fire guns, rockets, and the usual helicopter blasting package. Blasting is a blast. Now before you get too excited, this is not a new idea at all. This is an 80 year old idea. Hey, 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 how can we make a helicopter faster? I know, we'll put an airplane engine on it. Yeah, yeah man, maybe like, like airplane wings too. Yeah, and then we can load it up with blasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, how come we haven't seen one of these helicopter airplane combos before in production? I mean, it's been 80 years. What's really going on here? Well, the main problem has been the main rotor blades. The faster you get those things going, the more problems you have. Now, the counter-rotating blades on this thing are less like those bendy helicopter rotors and more like stiff airplane propellers. You know what I mean? Oh. Kind of like the V-22. They're kind of like the props on the V-22. Yeah, I just said that's what I just said. So a big reason why this is such a breakthrough is that these guys are confidently pushing this thing towards mass production. I mean, sure, over the decades, some Igor can put a super fast airplane engine on the back of a helicopter. I mean, heck, even a silly English can do it. But to make a large-scale, profitable, long-term product, you got to have a lot of pieces coming together. You know what I mean? And get this. It looks like Sikorsky here is doing the old, we'll build it and then they will come approach. Yep, they're funding it with their own money and then hoping that the army will want to buy it. Now when you do something like that, you're taking a big risk. Because every other eager Igor is also building their slick idea and hoping that the military will buy that too. And sadly, the best, coolest, most efficient stuff like this often gets overlooked by the military for a very long time. Now why is that? Some say these efficient machines are simply too much for the politicians to understand. Uh, I don't want to buy a black helicopter with two spinners. I like the old shiny ones. Oh wait, you like Sarah Palin. Let me go ahead and change that slide. Here uh, you go. Helicopters with two spinners melt the ice caps twice as fast. <laughs> That right there is why you have no friends. So if you ask me, I think this helicopter is freaking awesome. It's got all the best numbers. Super efficient, cost effective, it works, and it's really fast, right? I hope they can mass produce these things and develop them more and more over the years to come. The Sikorsky something something awesome helicopter. Do you think this is the best helicopter in 80 years? Or are you just a big jerk? You decide! I'm twice as fast, I'm twice as fast, I'm twice as fast, I'm twice as fast, you're twice as slow, and I'm twice as fast. <laughs>